if you go to Troy. You will never come home. Have you ever done the exact opposite thing of what your mother told you? And the result turned out to be very humiliating? If so, you are on the same team with me and Achilles, who did not listen to his mother's advice and was later killed due to the same reason. Let me tell you one of the greatest stories of the Trojan War in Greek mythology. Thetis is regarded as one of the sea goddesses of the Nereids, being the wife of Peleus and the mother of Achilles, the greatest of all Greek warriors in Trojan War. She was the daughter of Nereus, but she was brought up by Hera. It was said that at once Zeus desired her, yet she refused his love because of her loyalty to Hera. Poseidon, the god of the sea, also competed with Zeus to marry her. Only when Prometheus, the forethinker in Greek mythology, warned them of a prophecy that Thetis would bear a son even greater than his father. The two gods gave up their pursuits and decided that it would be better if Thetis were married to a mortal. Thus, they chose Peleus as the worthiest candidate, and together Thetis and Peleus gave birth to a great Trojan hero, Achilles. Because Thetis was a sea nymph who was immortal, she wanted to make her sons immortal like her as well. In some versions of Greek mythology, it was said that Thetis killed six of her children when she tried to make them immortal. Yet, she left the seventh child alive to be a mortal, who was Achilles. In another version, Thetis attempted to make her son mortal by dipping the baby Achilles in the Styx River, holding him by the heel. Therefore, the heel is the only place that Achilles was not immortal, other parts of his body were successfully made divine. When the Trojan War was about to happen, she knew that if Achilles partook in the fight, he was destined to die, so she concealed him as a girl and sent him instead to live with the women at Lycomede's court, on the island of Cyros. This was where he had a love affair with Didamia, which resulted in the birth of Neoptolemus. Later, when Odysseus revealed Achilles' disguise and took him to Troy, Neoptolemus stayed with his grandfather until he was also summoned during the later stages of the war. On the way to Troy, Thetis warned Achilles that he must not kill Tents, who is the son of Apollo, otherwise, Achilles would be fated to die under the hands of Apollo. She also prophesied that the first army to set foot on the Trojan land would also be destined to die, so she warned him of not take initiative to be among the first ones. Do you know what happened after that? He did exactly opposite of what her mother told him, my friend. That is, he killed Tents and took initiative to be the first one to land at Troy. Thus, he was destined to die. In the Iliad of Homer, Thetis was said to have tried every possible way to help her son, and she even begged Zeus to make the war favorable to the Trojan side. Thus, at once, Achilles stopped to enter the fight. However, when one of his close companions named Patroclus was killed during the war, he was determined to take revenge for his friend's life at the expense of his own life. Having no other choices, Thetis accepted his decision with sorrow and grief. Now, the prophecy came true that Achilles was killed by Apollo and Paris at the Skian Gate of Troy. Thetis and her sister Nereids then lamented him and burned his body on the seventeenth day. His ashes were mixed with the ashes of his comrade Patroclus, which was put in a golden jar made by Hephaestus. Together, they held a great funeral for Achilles, who after all, became immortal and lived eternally with Patroclus in the Black Sea. If you like my video and want to learn more about Greek mythology with simple explanations, please hit the like button and subscribe my channel because this channel is definitely for you. Thank you for listening, I will see you in my next video.